Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be testing the charge on this battery to make sure that it's it's holding a decent charge. As you can see right here, the manufacturer date was actually May of 2019. So this battery is getting a little older since today is, I don't know, July something, 2022. So it's get, it's getting a little, a little old on me. But um, what we're going to do to do this today is just use a multimeter and we're going to be checking this battery. It's been sitting overnight, haven't started the truck yet today, and we'll see what it reads um, just by putting these terminals onto the battery. And what we're looking for is a value somewhere over 12.6. If it's below that, this battery is probably not holding a charge very well and it's fairly dead. So let's take a look at that and see what this multimeter reads. For doing this, we're going to want to set this on the DC voltage side here on the multimeter. And since we're dealing in a value around 12, that'll be less than 20. So we're gonna set it here on the 20 mark. And then let's just go ahead and see if we can get these probes on here and see what it reads. So we're just going to take the red lead, put it on the positive of the battery. And we'll take the black lead and put it on the negative of the battery. And we'll see what we get here. So I'm getting about 12.4. So this battery is probably not as charged as it should be. 12.4, that's a little bit low. You're looking for somewhere around 12.6. So this battery may only be at about like 50% charge. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm working on figuring out why the alternator is whining so much. I've got a real bad whine in my alternator and I think it's because it's under load and one potential reason could be that it is trying to charge this half-charged battery. And an alternator is not really a battery charger. It's more of a battery maintainer. Keep that in mind. If you ever thought, you know, oh, I have kind of a dead battery, my alternator will charge it. Um, that can also be sort of bad for your alternator because they're not really chargers. They're more maintainers. Um, think of them like a kind of like a trickle charge at the top of... You know, if the battery is mostly charged, it just needs a little bit of a top off. That's kind of what the alternator is there for. It's not there to charge the battery. So probably what I need to do is take this battery off the vehicle and, and charge it overnight. And that might actually reduce my alternator wine and take some of the load off of it. Because this alternator is probably running at near high output trying to charge this battery back up to full when it's, uh, it's fairly low. And like I said, this battery is... It was manufactured in May of, of 19, so it's probably getting towards the end of its life here, um, especially down here in Texas where I'm at. Uh, the heat we have can tend to wreak pretty good havoc on these batteries. Um, they don't like it too much, you know? And three or four years, it's usually about the timeline I have um, for these batteries typically. So it may be getting near the end of its life, especially with how hot this summer's been. But just wanted to show you guys this quick video on how you can check your, your voltage on your battery after it's been sitting for quite a while. You don't want to do this right after you've been driving because it may have some charge on it from you driving around. So let it sit overnight and then check it in the morning and that'll really let you know kind of what your battery is, is sitting at and if it needs to be charged or not.